Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I want to go back and look at some of the games on Wii U that utilised the Wii U gamepad, and some that missed the mark. So, without further ado, let's get into it. A launch title for the Wii U, and a game that really showcased how their gamepad can be utilised, that being Zombie U. I remember playing the hell out of this game when it first came out, and it really tied me down for the next couple of years until the next big Wii U game came out. The gamepad kind of acts as your inventory for the most part, but is also used in other aspects like tapping on objects or using it to aim guns. Although I am not the biggest fan of having to constantly look down at the gamepad, for me it is 100% warranted for Zombie U because it really helps create that sense of tension as your concentration is pulled away from zombies in the game, so you can scrounge frantically in your inventory, whereas other games will just pause the action for you. And while some games did utilise the gamepad really well, other games not so much. The next game, although being one of my favourite Wii U games of all time, probably didn't use the gamepad in the best way, that game being Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. The gamepad basically just acts as a shortcut for your items, locking onto monsters, combining items and so forth. However, my issue with this is it's way easier to do the traditional way. Monster Hunter is a game that really requires you to pay attention and be on your feet at all times, and so having to look down to use items can definitely have some negative effects. Of course, I always love how menus are integrated into the gamepad, and it does that with online, with things such as typing to players, which just makes that aspect so much easier. I love Zelda games, however, they do have a huge flaw where the gamepad actually fixes that issue, that being item management. Typical Zelda games constantly require you to keep pausing to access items, and we all know the burden of that when it came to the Water Temple in the Ocarina of Time. However, the Wii U gamepad puts your inventory, map, and objectives all on the gamepad which just allows for a more uninterrupted experience. For me, this was a really good balance to use the gamepad. It didn't overuse it or underuse it. To me, it used it just right. And what's great, Twilight Princess also used the exact same functionality as well. However, I would argue that Wind Waker probably used the gamepad a little bit better. Up there with one of the best utilized Wii U games is Fatal Frame Maiden of Black Water. If you're not familiar with how these games work is you have a camera and you can only see spirits and ghosts through the lens of your camera. And so obviously the gamepad acts as your camera. I really love this because it really can create some pretty unexpected jump scares, especially when you have that eerie feeling that there's a spirit around you or maybe in front of you. And as soon as you put the gamepad up, You've got a ghost right up in your face. Although this game isn't the best in the series, it definitely is the most immersive one. Pikmin in theory works perfectly for the style of game it is, managing your Pikmin all with the convenience of the Wii U gamepad. However, I can't help but feel that this game kind of falls flat utilising the Wii U gamepad. It just feels awkward and the reason is because when you tap on the screen you do that to throw your Pikmin, but the issue with that is you don't actually know where the Pikmin will be thrown. So most of the time you just miss your target or you accidentally throw them into the water off a cliff to their death. This however worked much better on the Wii because you always had the cursor on the screen which showed you where the Pikmin will be thrown. However, this game does do things that I'd like, like going back, it has all your tools, maps and everything else conveniently placed on the gamepad, but that's really all I like about this game that uses the gamepad. Honestly, Pikmin just works so much better with the Wii Remote or the Joy-Con. This is my feel good game. I love playing this game on the odd occasion. Art Academy on the Wii U is perfect. The gamepad is really precise and sensitive with brush strokes and so this allows you to create some pretty detailed art pieces. It definitely isn't held back as well by limitations of the gamepad, which is nice. If you've ever used one of those Wacom tablets that are really expensive and has the big screen on it, it's honestly pretty close to that. The game is exactly as you'd expect. The gamepad acts as your canvas to draw on and you've got all your stationery and the TV is your reference point. Definitely one of those games that's perfect for the Wii U. And then we have it guys, those are just some games that utilize the Wii U gamepad. This is just part one of two videos, so in the next one, I will be covering some more Wii U games. In the meantime, let me know what games you really enjoy that utilize the Wii U gamepad in the comments below. Thank you guys for checking out the video, I really appreciate it. And until then, I will catch you next time.